Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Machine Tech Help Show. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can uh, keep watching these videos. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the new YouTube layout and some of the cool new features they decided to add. Uh, personally, I'm a fan of it, but I don't know how you guys are going to feel about it. I'd uh, like you to answer that question by putting things in the comments below. Now, what's, what Google's trying to do is they're actually creating a new look for all of their platforms. They've done it to Gmail. Uh, they've done it to Google+, Plus. Uh, they're getting rid of Google Buzz, and now they're doing it to YouTube, and they're all being consistently kind of interconnected with one another so that they can have a long-term, more uh, seamless connectivity between all their platforms. Now, as you can see on this first screen on the left-hand side uh, is all your navigation now. Let's scroll down through here. If you have your own channel and your own uh, avatar, you can actually go and look at it right here. You can check out your channel directly, your likes, your history. And this includes all your comments and everything. Now, one of my favorites is the most recent uploads from all of your subscribers now display in a much easier to read format. And they've also decided to start adding uh, when people make a note or they publish a uh, response to something, you can actually see what they're discussing about their video and if they're answering questions. Uh, if you don't want to see that, you can obviously check this box right here. It says show uploads only. And then you can just look at the videos. Now, if you're in the mood for one subscriber in particular, say, I don't know, PC Michiana, on the left-hand side, you can actually select which subscriber you're interested in looking at. So we can go ahead and select, for example, Brytech9, and I can see all of his videos directly here. Now, one nice thing, too, is they've summarized when items are added to a playlist, that entire playlist. So when Brytech adds a video that he just made to a playlist, such as this how-to tutorials, I can actually see this whole playlist right here that he added it to. So now I can select that playlist. It's a great way of having him organize videos. And I can actually scroll down and look at all the videos he's put in that playlist. So now when I scroll back up, I can actually like this playlist or dislike this playlist and I can share the entire playlist with somebody I know. You'll notice up here in the upper right hand corner it also shows how many videos are in the playlist and also the full duration of every video in the playlist if you were to watch them all consecutively. On the bottom right hand corner of Brytech's channel now in this playlist I can look at his other playlists so it's a great way of being able to actually track everything that's going on in that one person's channel. So let's scroll back up here and in the upper left-hand corner, let's view his home page channel by selecting the image. Now, channels can organize themselves in a number of ways. Let's say they'll do featured, which will actually have an organizational list of all of their uh, playlists, most likely. And you can scroll down through here, and you can. it looks like he decided to choose the featured videos option. There's a number of different ways they can organize this. And you can look at all the featured videos he decided are the most important that summarize what he has to offer to the viewer base. On the feed, it's all of his activity. So you can see what he's liked, disliked, commented on, and things like that. And if you go to videos, you can actually look at it like the traditional video format and take a look at all of the videos that he's uploaded, as you can see here. Now, if you don't want to just look at all the recent uploaded upload ones and you don't want to organize them by most popular or anything like that, on the left-hand side, you can select the playlists and once again, look at all the playlists he has organized. Now, this is just the basic layout that's changed. The actual player has changed as well. So let's go to my channel real quick. Put a PC, actually in the upper right-hand corner, you have your drop-down here. I should show you this real quick. And you can choose your channel. Uh, they changed my videos to Video Manager. Uh, you can view your subscriptions, your inbox, your settings, switch an account. That's a feature they've been adding to all of their services. This allows you to switch between two different video accounts that you might have. So for those of you who have multiple YouTube accounts, this is a great way to switch between them. And then you can sign out and sign into somebody else. Let me go to my channel here. <clears throat> and as you can see on my channel, I'm able to actually scroll down and I have all my featured playlists. So I have my Faster XP series, Vista, and 7. And if I select a series, let's choose the 7 since it's the most popular. And as you can see, we've talked about before, I can like or dislike it. I can select this Play All button up here, and it'll actually start in the new player that video series right from the beginning. So, which it's, it's pretty sweet the way they have this set out. If you have, if you're a guy who has his video organized like a playlist, like I do, then as you can see down here, I can see all the episodes. And you can actually, from the left to right, highlight over it, look at the whole title of it, which is pretty nice. And on the right hand side, I can actually flip to the next set of videos, and I can do it again. 
I have an options up here where I can click that and I can edit the playlist or load a different playlist. And this is for uh, me because I'm logged in. This is my playlist. Uh, as you can see, it shows the name of the series. You can read more information on it by selecting that. And it's basically completely optimized your Windows 7. Let me go back. And one of my favorite features here is that you can actually highlight over next video and it'll actually show you what the next video is while you're watching the current one. Now the player has changed just moderately, not a whole lot. Your new subscriber button is up here, so if you're not subscribed to my videos, go ahead and click that now because you're awesome if you do. And then you can select your uh, larger player here and it, it actually pushes everything down and it resizes the video. I think it looks a lot cleaner. And then you can actually do the full screen here as well, which makes everything disappear off your screen. Let's go ahead and take that out. And let's go ahead and skip through a couple of these videos. So it's really a great way of kind of, if people have decided to do their own uh, organizational through playlists, it's a very, very great new format. I'm kind of hoping, kind of hoping people take advantage of it. Now, let's go back up to the standard YouTube page and take a look at some of the other features. They've done a better job on the right-hand side with recommended videos. They all depend on what you've watched, what your behavior is, what you've liked, what you've disliked. Uh, on the left-hand side, again, you can actually connect your Facebook account to it now, which will let you actually, well, you've always been able to connect your Facebook to it, but now you can choose to automatically share YouTube activity on YouTube and your favorite sites. And so you can actually pick and choose what you want to connect here, and it'll actually show up on the left-hand side as you connect, which is pretty nice. Uh, new comments is here as well, and you can select there whenever you have new comments, and you can actually read what people are saying to you, and you can respond to them. Uh, traditionally, the comment section of your inbox has been kind of clunky with, with YouTube, and this one's been a lot more streamlined, and it's a lot less frustrating to work with. As you can see, I've done a video on this uh, Cosmic Panda layout before, and uh, they've also reorganized how the comments are structured. So they're a little nicer here, they're a little cleaner, they did a better job with the replies, they actually indent them in a lot better fa fashion, and uh, you're just in a lot better position to do more things when you're uh, working with YouTube. Now overall, I'd say this is a really great change. I think they've been trying to push it through for quite a while. I know people are going to be reluctant to kind of get a hold of it. Uh, but uh, give it a shot and play around with it. If there's any features I missed, leave them in the comments below as well. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. Again, that's a great way to uh, help me, help promote me and encourage me to keep making videos. And uh, swing by my website. i got loads of free downloads in the free download section. There's a community forum for support. And uh, I'll be here for a long time coming. Thanks again.